Hey guys, how's it going? Celtic Reviews, and I'm reviewing something new. Um, I'm going to be doing new solid reviews, uh, reviewing graphic novels and comic books. Um, I'm not only a fan of video games, movies, and TV shows, I love comics. I'm a, I'm a nerd, right? I grew up reading Spider-Man and X-Men and all that, and Batman and shit like that. I, I love comics. Uh... I just had the greatest memories of going to comic book stores when I was a kid, grabbing comics, reading them at home and stuff, reading them at school. It was just one of the, it's one of the joys that I had as a kid, and uh, it's one of the joys that I still enjoy today. Uh, recently, because of my good friend Alan, um, he's recommended me uh, one story to read. I recommended him another, and uh, I figured because I got done reading. Uh, this particular story, I figured why not review it and tell you guys if I love it or hate it, and if it's worth asking a price that is on Amazon, it's like $30, and today's graphic novel I'm going to be reviewing is Wolverine, Old Man Logan, um, I'm a big Wolverine fan, um, there are some stories that they have done with Wolverine I necessarily didn't care about though. I feel like there are some opportunities they could have done where it just feels like they wasted that opportunity. But when I was a kid, I did hear about Old Man Logan. It was going to be one of the most brutal and violent Wolverine comics to come out. And I wound up missing the opportunity to get it. Um, I, I regret it. Uh, I wish I would have read it as a kid, but... Recently, I picked it up on Amazon for thirty dollars. It's still available. Uh, you get paperback or hardback. I usually go for the hardbacks because it helps protect my books more. I and I'm, plus I love the feel of opening up a hardback more than paperback. It just feels like it's it wears down eventually, and I don't want that to happen to my book. So, uh, Old Man Logan, is it good? Is it worth your reading time? Is it worth going through two hundred and thirty-five pages of book? Fuck yes. Old Man Logan is the best Wolverine story I have ever read in my life. It's so damn good. There was not a moment where I did not stop smiling ear from ear reading this. It has great writing, great artwork, just a great ending, a great twist. It's just such a great story. They really captured what Wolverine would have been like at that age in this certain situation. Is really well done. <sighs> Let me talk about the story. So, Wolverine, or as he likes to go by, Logan, is getting up there in age. Um, after a tragic event that happens, he hasn't popped his claws in a long time. He's decided to become a pacifist. He lives on a farm with his family and lives in the gang, uh, the Hulk gang's territory. Now, in this universe, different villains have their own territories around the United States of America. And Wolverine has a farm in the Hulk gang's territory. He winds up owing the Hulk gang some rent money. He's a month behind. And he has to find a way to get the money. Hulk guy approaches him, asks him if he wants uh, if he can help him deliver some cargo from the from that territory to another territory. And he will pay him the money he needs to pay off the Hulk gang. And Logan accepts. And from there on out is basically a road trip movie between Hulk Eye and Wolverine. And it's done incredibly well. It's done amazingly. First off, the pacing on this book is perfect. It doesn't feel like they jumped around all over the place like some like Civil War or the later Marvel Zombies. If you remember the later Marvel Zombies, they jumped around way too fucking much. This feels like a very structured story from beginning to end. It feels like a movie is happening in front of you, which is all. This is why I love about comics if they can do that. And Old Man Logan definitely does that. Um, and this is definitely a book not intended for kids. Uh, this book gets fucking graphic this is a story that is dark mature and kind of disturbing in some places but it's all done very tastefully and it's not over gratuitous it's not pushed in your face it's all done in context of the story and i like that it's, it's, it's really good um the things they've done with certain heroes and villains was very unique what they did with the hulk gang was Kind of fucked up seeing an inbred Hulk family was kind of why, but it makes sense once you read it why they chose to do that. Um, you know, having, I will say this, 
the story is so well done. There was a scene where I did cry when I read it. I actually started tearing up. And that's hard to do, especially with reading material for me. Like, I don't normally re cry when I read books. I mean, I say that for video games, TV, and movies. But Old Man Logan had me tear up at one specific scene, and that's really hard to do. Uh, the ending, oh my god. The fucking ending to Old Man Logan is one of the most fucking badass, like, things I've ever seen. It's so well done. The moment feels earned, and it just has a great, satisfying conclusion. The artwork is really well done. I'll show you a page of the artwork without spoiling anything. Here you are. So this is technically what the artwork looks like. It's really well done. Really gorgeous artwork. Um, and it's, it's really well done. Uh, and it's a lengthy read. It took me about two hours, to an hour and a half, two hours to read this entire graphic novel. And my time was really well spent. Um, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, just the fact that I got to see Wolverine in this state was awesome. And the ending is so worth the read. Trust me, if you guys find this in your store or get it off Amazon, read till the end. Because everything that happened prior to that will feel so fucking worth it. I'm telling you, the ending was so fucking good. Oh my god. I love The Old Man Logan. It is a great story. It is so well worth the purchase price of $30. It's fucking phenomenal. Uh, I think actually the soft, the paperback is actually 25 and then the hardback is 30. I would recommend getting the hardback. It's really cool and you get some bonus art in it. It's really well done. But yeah, Old Man Logan, it's worth the purchase price. It's a great book. If you find this in your store, grab it. If you find it on Amazon, grab it. Like buy this book immediately. The artwork's great. The story's great. And I'm going to be rereading this like over and over and over again. In terms of a book, I would give this a 10 out of 10. It's a perfect graphic novel. Uh, if you're a fan of Wolverine, it's definitely a read that you must, like, it's definitely a book that you must read. It's definitely worth it. It's a 10 out of 10 book. Go pick it up. And, uh, yeah, if you guys like this style of reviews, if you guys like me talking about comic books, please let me know because I love reading them and I would love to talk about them more. And I did recently pick up another one. That I would love to review. Uh, this one just came in today, actually. The Batman Who Laughs. Let me know if you guys want me to read this and review this. And tell you guys if it's any good or not. And uh, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.